Hey, everybody. Hey. All right, time for our newest discussion. Top 10, top 10 plots in hentai. Number 10. No, I'm not talking about hentai. <laughs> I figured I wanted to start off with something weird. Like, you know, um, just one of those things where it's like, wait, what? No shit. Wait, wait, huh? What? Top 10 simple plots. Number 10. In hentai? Through one. I was just talking plots in general. I mean... Okay. I mean, I haven't seen that much to really know a top ten list for that one. I don't. I have never seen a hentai with an actual story. <laughs> I know they're out there, but I have not seen it. I've, uh, I've definitely, I've seen one, and that would be, uh, that would be Yu-Gi-Oh. That is not. You sure? Cause that, that really fucked with my head how he breaks the rules constantly. <laughs> I mean, you've, you've watched Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Yes, I've watched Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, like, I feel like that's a dumb question, but, like, I think everyone at this point, no matter if anyone's a fan or not, has seen Yu-Gi-Oh. Mm -hmm. You have to, you have to admit, <laughs> that some bitch wasn't good at card games. He just fucking broke the rules constantly. Kind of. I mean, let's, uh, I, I'm, I'm not gonna be that guy, but... Karibo ain't gonna fix every fucking problem every single time. No. No, your Car the Karibo car. Well, oh, Pinky. <gasps> Look at him go! Back here, you little bitch. Oh, he's so happy. Oh God. Oh, we're gonna bash his head in, aren't we? Something like that. Oh, I'm so excited for him. Oh God. Yeah, I'm still. I'm. It's, it's been a lazy day, man, today. Mm -hmm. Like no lie, I just sat there and thought about like, fuck it. I'm just I'm just gonna open this up talking about plots of hentai. I mean, why the fuck not? That's fair. <laughs> fucking Yugi Moto taking on Seto Kaiba, thinking his fucking goddamn Karibo is gonna take down a fucking blue eyes. My father has no useless cards. God damn it. Um. Pop quiz. If I were to... Uh, no, I can't do that. I was going to say, could you name all the original Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Actually, I probably could. Could you? Almost. You ever try it? Oh. Oh, oh you saw it too? Mm -hmm. Alright. You know what? Ah, fuck it. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Okay. You've seen... You've se like I said, you've seen the original anime. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh trivia. What was your favorite arc in Yu-Gi-Oh? The... Um, probably the... Jaden Yuki series. Jaden... Oh, GX? Yeah. Oh, you were going by series. I was going by, like, um, uh, arcs in the original. I enjoyed um, GX. GX was good. I was okay with GX. Well, I haven't finished the... Was it the dragon arc? No, it was the feral arc. Merrick, do you want... Do you want trivia on Merrick Ishtar? Trivia on that tool. <laughs> on that fucking tool who gets possessed and shit. He got possessed though, right? Yeah, he did. Okay, I do not want the like ad. Like a little bitch. Like a little bitch. And his mama had to... His mom, his sister had to come and wipe his ass. Mm -hmm. Alright, fuck it, let's do this. Give me... Where is it? Oh, the last person that took the quiz was today at 2.14pm. Uh, times played, 9,516. Uh... Uh, how do I take the fucking quiz? My Yu-Gi-Oh... Yeah, I fucking... I want to give Brent a quiz... About this game. Uh, do you want to do a time... Let's just take... Single page. Let's do this. Alright. I... Need... Okay. Okay, this this isn't too... Okay, no. For a moment, I thought it was all in Japanese. I was worried. What card does Seto Kaiba start off with on his first duel with Yugi? The first card he ever brought out. Uh, Battle Box. Oh no, he talks to me, right? Okay. It's one of those two. What is the defense power of Silver Fang? Uh, 800. Jesus Christ. These are actually like, there's only like four options in each. These are actually like ones that are on here. True or false? The change of heart is Bakura's favorite card. True. I think I even knew that one. Which card sucks all monsters off the field? Black hole. Or dark hole. What monster guards the eggs of the maze of Paradox Brothers maze? Um... Is that, what, is that from the game? Or is that upstairs? 
Oh, oh, that sound, that sound just happened. I think that was uh, if that was the game. That's a really weird sound. It sounded like a cat. Yeah, it, it was a cat. Unfortunately, sure. it was not a cat. Is not one of the options for this question. Oh, okay. What was the question again? What monster guards the exit of the maze of the Paradox Brothers maze? Um, the Gate Guardian. Okay. Even I think I knew. I think I knew that one too. If you manage to gather all the Exodia cards in your hand, what you happens? You win the game. Your options are: you win and your opponent loses. Nothing happens. You lose and your opponent wins. <laughs> it will be a tie game. Yeah. No. All right. You win and your opponent loses, I'm guessing, right? Mm -hmm. Which card does Joey get after he beats Rex in a duel? Uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon. Okay. Like what level card. is Gaia the Fierce Knight? He is a level six. No option for level six. Level f seven. Okay. What happened to Seto Kaiba after he lost a Pegasus in a duel? I have died. Oh, God. Luckily, hit the middle button. It might still be good. Come on, baby. Come on. There you go. Great thing about 360 controllers. They'll die even though the battery still have a bit of juice left. All right. What happened to Seto Kaiba after he lost a Pegasus in a duel? Lost his soul. Lost his soul? Yep. Or was he thrown into a dungeon? That too. What? <laughs> He, he, his soul got captured, he became his slave, he was thrown into a dungeon, or C, nothing. Uh, he was thrown into a dungeon, and he lost his soul. Oh, Invigoration God. powers up an earth monster's attack by how many points? 400. Uh, let's see, 400, 200. Well, 400, Jesus Christ, actually, like, I actually want to see what you got, that's... Good. Dude, you just got a literal perfect. Did I really? Yeah, it's a 10 out of 10. You fucking aced it. <laughs> you scored 100 video. The average score is 8 out of 10. That's great. I actually kind of want to do that again quick, because that was actually really fucking impressive. Do it. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Easy Yu-Gi-Oh! Trivia 2. Was this easy Yu-Gi-Oh! Trivia? I might just give you the second one. My Results for my Yu-Gi-Oh! Quiz. And we're done. Very nice. 100% of the kills. 30% 7 items. No secrets. bad all right all right you know i was gonna say just like oh you know we'll figure out something to talk about you know well we'll see if we can't get to the next no i'm next episode or anything with something else no i'm i'm genuinely curious now on what you'd get next um do you want just cards or tv either you know what let's do easy Yu-Gi-Oh trivia too I'll, I'll keep it simple for now all right let's see if i can't load this up all right Okay, this is from the Duel Kingdom. This is season two, which was Duel Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Who was the first duelist Yugi faced against in Duelist Kingdom? Mm -hmm. I think it was Underpants. Weevil? Okay. Mm -hmm. What is Mai's favorite card? Harpy Girl. Or Harpy Lady. Harpy Lady? Yeah. Polymerization is required to fuse Baby Dragon and Time Wizard. This does not apply with the card game. False. False? Uh, well, it does apply with the card game. It does? Yeah. So true? Uh, the ability that Joey uses in um, in the actual game, or in the actual anime, doesn't work in real life. No, it does. that one I knew too. Yeah. So false? False. Who is Joey's sister? Um... Do you want me to give you the options? Yeah. Is it Taya? No. Nope. Mai? No. Nope. Serenity? Yes. Or none of these? Serenity. Serenity. How did Yugi defeat Kaiba on the first episode? Fucking... Do I even have to answer that question? It says final, Exodia, yeah. Kaiba's life points reduced to zero, or Kaiba's deck ran out. It, In the anime, it, it, it's... It was, it, was, it was Exodia. In the anime, it's not just Exodia comes out. It literally shoots a fucking hyper beam at him. Mm -hmm. I'll choose Exodia, just to be safe. It wipes his entire field. Apparently, in, like, the manga, when they did it, he's supposed to be in a coma for a while. Not a coma, but a vegetative state in a wheelchair. Really? Yeah, it, like, straight up messed with his brain. Because I guess they made, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zero, it's called. Like, the original manga that came out to lead up to Yu-Gi-Oh! Mm -hmm. And apparently, when he first activates Yu-Gi-Oh! with that, like, the Millennium Puzzle... Yami Yu Yugi. Yeah, Yami Strave just starts killing people. Oh. I'm not even kidding. Like, I remember looking... I'll open something else first, just to see. But, like, apparently... 
Like, let, let me, uh, Kaiba wheelchair. It was like, after he lost, it's like, I'm in a wheelchair. Uh, I do not want to look up Seto Kaiba's info on the wiki. The first series. Yeah, the first series. He had, yeah, there's a picture of what he looked like in the wheelchair. Jesus. He's just a vegetable in the thing. That's fucked up. Yeah, just because he lost a card game, it just, it just frappate his brain, apparently. And then, um, uh, I'm gonna look up Yu-Gi-Oh! and, like, I don't know, Yami kills people. I don't think my search history is gonna feel the same. Uh, is Yami Yugi evil? Known as Dark Yami Yugi, known as Dark Yugi in the manga and the Japanese versions, also referred to as the Nameless Pharaoh, is the spirit of the Pharaoh, a tem, or a team that has been sealed in the Millennium Puzzle. I just want to know if he killed people. Did Bakuro kill Pegasus? He did not. No in the manga, Pegasus. Dark Bakura murdered Pegasus at the end of Duelist Kingdom by gouging out the Millennium Puzzle out of his eye socket. Yami Bakura removed the eye afterwards, but it did not kill Pegasus. So I guess in the in the manga he's dead, but in the other stuff, I mean, they mentioned him in season two, so he's obviously still around. Because like the guy that looked like a panda ended up going to learn under him. Yeah. Because Pegasus is the one that draws all the art for the cards. Mm. Isn't he the one who draws the art for it? No. He um, runs the company. For a duelist? And he comes up with ideas, yeah. Dang. Guy's making bank then. Mm -hmm. But uh, he's also a, a researcher too, so... True, but then he's he found the Millennium Eye and that kind of... Rich person. Did the Millennium Eye mess with him or was he just like, fuck it, I'm gonna put this in my head? It did fuck with him, yeah. A little bit. Like it made him a bit like... I thought you were getting hurt for a moment. You're just slowly healing. How did Pegasus lose his eye? How old is my Valentine? Mine's like Mine's in her 30s, I think, Valentine and she's trying to... is in her 20s. And she's trying to, like, get with Joey, I think, or something, mm -hmm. ain't she? No. Joey's, like, what, 15? 17. How old is Yugi? 16... 16 to 38. Within that range. Somewhere around there. He was born in 1988. <laughs> oh, man. The 80s were a weird time. You remember the 80s, right? We weren't even alive for it, but I guess in the... Oh, God. Oh, God, hey, bud! Not... Jesus Christ, look at him go! Oh, you blew his head literally in, like, oh, he's got a frowny face, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God, that was amazing. All right, let's 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 finish this one up. What happened to Yugi's Exodia pieces? Uh, the, uh, the, the Underwood threw them off the boat. Like the douche nut. Think about it. He got rid of probably the most powerful card combination you can possibly have. Mm -hmm. If it was not for Weevil, like, Yugi would just stomp competition 24-7. Because let's face it, them heart of the cards is strong. Mm -hmm. Which card did Joey use to defeat Espa Roba in the Battle City Tournament? Um, definitely used Red Eyes. Okay. The used... options are Time Wizard, Roulette Spider, Thousand Dragon, and Joey lost against Espa Roba at the Battle City Tournament. Espa Roba. Uh, Thousand Dragon. Thousand Dragon. Mm -hmm. Time... Well, Time Wizard technically would work for that, too. Well, because didn't didn't he combine, like, Time Wizard and, like, Elder Dragon or something? And, and Baby Dragon, yeah. And Baby Dragon. And Thousand Dragon? Yeah. Thousand Dragon. I think it's Thousand Dragon. What card did Pegasus use against Yugi in the fourth part of the duel? Relinquished? He has Toon World, Relinquished, Jam Breeding Machine, no. and Yugi versus Pegasus duel lasted for three episodes, so Pegasus didn't use any cards in the fourth part. You know what? That's probably it right there. It really does sound like they're trying to make it a trick question. Mm -hmm. If Because he used Toon World pretty early on, didn't he? And he used that as his opening hand. Isn't Relinquish the thing that has the bunch of eyes on it? Yep. And it steals your card and uses its attack. Is it as powerful as, as they make it seem in the anime? Yes. So it is a really broken card. It's a pretty broken card. Alright. Which of these cards did the Labyrinth Brothers not use against Yugi and Joey? Labyrinth Tank? La Monster Tamer? Gate Guardian, Mask of Restrict. That one. Mask of Restrict? Yep. Okay. Because wasn't there another guy who used mask cards? I think so. Which of these duelists did Joey not duel in Duelist Kingdom? Bones, Rex Raptor, My Valentine, or Mako Tsunami? My Valentine. My Valentine? Yeah. Are you ready? Yep. Let's see what you got. They're probably significantly less. You... Good, good. You got three wrong. Alright, he did not go against Mako Tsunami. 
Joey did. He didn't. What? Yeah, I guess he did go against my. He went against Mako Tsunami. Joey's first duel in Duel's Kingdom was against my Valentine. Was it Yugi who went against Mako? Wait, what card did Mako give up when he lost? His Legendary Fisherman. Who got Legendary Fisherman then? I'm pretty sure Joey did. I'm going to look that one up in a moment, yeah. but here are the other ones. Um, he used Relinquished. Before Pegasus summoned Relinquished, he casted the Spell of the Shadow Realm. So, could he do that because of the Shadow his eye? His Millennium Eye, or was that just a card? That was him. That was his, yeah, the, the Shadow Realm. Oh, yeah, because that made everything, like, it, it took him to a different realm, and it made it all shadowy around the entire duel, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the last one he got wrong was, which card did Joey use to defeat Esperosa? He used Roulette Spider. Esperosa's Jinzo destroyed Thousand Dragon. Oh, that's right. Dude, I fucking loved Jinzo back in the day. Mm -hmm. Another good one I enjoyed it's kind was of a bullshit card. Oh, it is, but I, I mean the design and everything is wickedly mm -hmm. awesome. The I, my favorite one I ever saw, I think, was from season two. It was the I'll look it up quick because it's got badass art to it. It was the red eyes black dragon, I believe, and summon skull um, fusion meteor bee dragon. Was no. that what it was? No, that was um... summon. Summon Skull looks badass, too. His art is fucking amazing. I mean, look at the OG art on that thing. It just looked like... I don't even know what it looked like, but the fact that just fucking... Yugi was just walking around with a Summon Skull in his back pocket, pretty much. Like yeah, this, the best like, part about Summon Skull is uh, he's low cost. Also, Toon Summon Skull is fucking scary as hell. Jeez, mm -hmm. Archfiend, Lord of Lightning. Summon Skull... They made some, yeah. I summon skull. Um, fused with. It, uh, it, I think it's red eyes, arch fiend, or something. Red eyes. Because I remember I had here it is. Um, uh, B skull dragon. So black, black skull, skull dragon. dragon. Yeah. I I had that as a kid. I actually had black skull dragon. I think I had a summon skull too, but I never had a red eyes. Mm -hmm. But we would always play off the cuff rules when we ever we played. So. We would never go by summoning rules. We'd only go by sacrifice rules. So, like, we would allow you to... You were allowed to bring in a fusion card mm -hmm. if you were willing to make the sacrifices for it. Mm, instead of using polymerization? Yes. Because it was more like... Because it's like a polymerization card, it wasn't like that average card someone had, like, ten of. Yeah. But no one was like, oh, yeah, here, I've got nine other polymerization cards. Have one of them. No, so... So you could pretty much just use one polymerization unless you had cards that could bring other cards back from the graveyard. Then you could use it twice, but at the same time, like, you know, you still have to, like, st strategize your deck and you're going to go against a bunch of different people. So you never knew. <laughs> Look at me going on around my nerdiness. I cannot find this yellow key. And then there's the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. And then there was Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate... Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. Mm-hmm. What's the most powerful blue eyes they ever made? Uh, probably the one that partners with um, the Envoy. It's 5,000 attack, 5,000 defense. Most powerful blue eyes. Remember when they had starter decks they'd release based off the characters from the shows? Mm -hmm. and, Kai and Kaiba's starter deck was just exceedingly way too OP. Yeah. Because it came with automatically three blue eyes you'd get. So whenever you got a starter pack of 50 cards, there would always be three blue eyes no matter what. Yeah. And it was just the most broken thing in the world if you used Kaiba's deck. Because Yugi's was okay, but you have to, mm -hmm. Yugi's is a hard deck to use. His deck nowadays is really easy to use. Oh yeah, but like back then when the cards first came out, it was just the Gen 1 cards that were out. Mm -hmm. Oh god, it was exceedingly hard just to use Yugi's deck. Yes. Because you had to, because it was all about timing, what cards you had in your deck, what could be used with what. Kaiba, it was straight up, yo, I've got strong cards, I have strong cards made for sacrificing, and I've got three blue eyes. Like, his was all about just sacrificing cards was mm -hmm. his deck. Yugi's was more based on, like, I don't know, technicalities, I guess you could say. And then again, combination cards, because he had to wait for, you know, the five pieces of Exodia, because his original booster card deck did come with the five pieces of Exodia, I believe. I think they did. And if you didn't get his booster deck, just trying to get a deck of cards made up with the Exodia pieces was hard as hell. Because, again, you had to find the five different pieces of Exodia and put them all together, have them in your deck, and have all five in your hand at once. 
which means like if you had a really shit hand or you had like three pieces and like two magic cards or two trap cards you were kind of screwed when your turn came around and you had to put something down because it's like well you're gonna you kind of have to put down one of the pieces at that point unless your trap cards are really good mm -hmm. top 10 blue eyes monsters um oh blue eyes chaos max dragon mm -hmm. i want a picture of this thing actually there's blue eyes there's blue, card. blue eyes alternate white dragon. Mm -hmm. That's a nice card. Blue eyes solid dragon. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, he's shooting lasers and he's got fucking robo wings. Mm -hmm. Blue eyes twin burst dragon. Mm -hmm. Is that, that attacks twice and you you can play it without having polymerization. And I'm guessing it's uh, a, is it a dragons. little weaker than a normal blue eyes then the the triple fusion one for its base attack? Look at it it's right there. Oh. 3, well then, where's the then 3,000, and then this guy down here. Okay. Let's see. I want to see this real... What the fuck? Spirit Dragon. Then red, you have... Is that red Eyes or Blue Eyes? That's a Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Oh, I don't have that one. Then Dragon Spirit of White. Yep. Then Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Which, yep. Oh my god. So it's like a three... It's like a, a Blue Eyes... An Ultimate Blue Eyes... Except it has a bunch of stat effects. Mm -hmm. Then, what do we have for number two? Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon. No defense at all for the thing. Mm -hmm. And then the ultimate Blue Eyes is the Blue Eyes Chaos Max, Max Dragon with 4,000 attack. No defense. You can ritual summon this card with Chaos Form. Must be ritual summoned and cannot be special summoned by other ways. Cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict double piercing damage battle damage to your opponent so does that mean like piercing damage means they still take the damage even if it's defense specter oh look at the little guy no oh, he's dead now so i guess the reason it's so good is also it's one of the more cheaper blue eyes i guess mm -hmm. out of all of them <sighs> what is the most powerful Yu-Gi-Oh card uh what is the most what is the strongest blue eyes monster in Yu-Gi-Oh in terms of raw attack power blue eyes ultimate dragon and neo blue eyes ultimate but if you factor in effects, hey, what's that? many fans. Oh god, touch it. Oh, it's the area map. We have an area map now? What happens if you open the map then? Oh. Uh. Oh, I guess it. I guess you have a room over to your right. That's where I just came from. Oh. Well, I guess it'll show. It will show you the exit on here. Can you scroll on it? Oh, you have to walk with it. Okay. Oh, the gray is what you haven't gone to. Yep. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, so that'll take... And then there's a, a side area over there, too. Mm -hmm. All right. Top 10 strongest attacks. Uh, Holy shit. Look at these guys. Machinima Force. God, this entire episode has literally just been talking about Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, though, those were like... Even nowadays, finding like the OG stuff for Yu-Gi-Oh cards, it's expensive as hell. Like, people say magic's expensive. Back in the day with Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, there weren't that many cards. So making a decent deck, you really had to scavenge around and look and see what you could find. Mm -hmm. Rocket Arrow Express is 5,000. Flower Cardian Light Flare, 5,000. So what do the different colors mean? Like, this one's a white card. Yeah, it's a Synchro Summon monster. Synchro. So that is from, uh, shit. Third gen? Fourth gen? Uh, 5Ds. 5D. Okay. Then basically what the synchro first entailed mm -hmm. was you're you're on a bike and you're going a certain speed. Okay, this is the card games on motorcycles era. Yeah. Okay. And then the synchro takes a tuner monster and a regular monster and then whatever stars, the amount of stars that you have is what you get. That's how you, so you have to have that many stars in order to So start. it's kind of like a trade. Essentially, yeah. And then those two, um... Not like that succeeds. Cause yeah, I, never mind. Because there's also a black card here for... That succeeds. Super Dimensional Robot Galaxy Destroyer. Uh -huh. That sounds like something straight up from Power Rangers. There are a couple of cards like that. It looks like... A, dude, it looks like the Megazord. What's an XYZ effect. So what's Xyz. an XYZ do? Xyz is... Uh, uh, so when you summon an Xyz monster, you mm -hmm. need to have that many stars... So he's max stars. Is that 10? Yeah. Is max 10? 
So you have, and then it should say on the bottom of the card how many Xyz monsters you, or how many monsters you need. Three level 10 monsters. Yeah. You have to have three level 10 monsters to summon this thing. Mm -hmm. And then those monsters become what are known as Xyz material. And then once you use the Xyz material, the card goes to the graveyard. Once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card. Destroy all spell and trap cards your opponent controls. Your opponent cannot attack... Cannot activate spell or trap cards in response to this effect activation. So it's an ultimate, hey, fuck you using any other form of attack on me. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Super dimensional robot galaxy destroyer, that was him. Five-headed dragon. Okay, I remember this guy. Five-headed dragon is... Uh, it has, like, all five of the heads are a different element, but overall it's a, it's a dark card. Yeah. This is what they used in that, like, cyber, cyber arc in Yu-Gi-Oh, right? And they fought it with... Uh... Uh, something Envoy and then Blue Eyes Ultimate combined. Yeah, didn't they have then? Because didn't everyone brush out their most powerful card? Like Joey brought a Red Eyes, which actually isn't that strong. Mm -hmm. He had a Red Eyes. There's a Blue Eyes there. I don't even remember what Yugi brought out. Dark Magician. Or no, it was the Envoy. Yeah, and then I think Mai was in there. Didn't Mai bring out? Oh yeah, Harpy Dragon. I think. Harpy Sister. Harpy Sisters. Then there's a fifth person who was there, I think. Uh, fuck it. Taya used fucking Karibo Jr. I don't fucking no, know. No, she probably used uh, Dark Magician. Is there a Dark ma a dark Dragon at this point, too? Like, the Dark Magicians. There's a Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl. Mm -hmm. Um, fucking... Um, oh yeah, there's, um, Dark Magician Sage. I know that's a thing. Dark, dark Sage, yeah. Yep. Uh, what's the next one? Melted. Game. Malefic Truth Dragon. Dystopia the Despondent. How many? Fuck, that looks like more than 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Mm -hmm. Dragon Master Knight. That's the one that they use. Do you fuck. Black Luster Soldier plus Blue Eyes Ultimate Fucking Dragon. Right? Jesus yeah. Christ. Black Luster, that was. <sighs> A ritual. You had to come. No, you could use Black Luster in, with another thing, and then you made like some weird dark mime looking kind of guy or something. Because mm -hmm. he. That's a different ritual. Okay. Uh, what else? Dawn Thousand Monster B. I have no idea what the hell that is. Dawn Master Monster C. Let me guess. Dawn Master Thousand A. Wait, what? That's it. Is that it? That's it. So I guess. Dawn Master, Dawn Thousand slash Monster C wields a hundred thousand attack, a hundred thousand attack and defense over ten times the eighty thousand life points players start with. He special summoned from the hand when Monster B is defeated, representing your last, your last hurdle in the boss duel. Luckily, he cannot attack. However, he also cannot be destroyed by card effects and prevents you from attacking other monsters on your opponent's field. Even worse, he creates a gain state where you lose the duel if you end a turn without attacking. So Monster C forces you to strike at least once and prevents you from directing it at other monsters. Unless you have a trick up your sleeves, you'll be crushed under his massive power when you battle. But don't fret, cards like Honest or Amazonist Swordswoman can use Monster C's attack value against itself and conquer the menacing foe. So in other words, it forces you to attack it when it has 10,000 defense or attack, and if you do not attack, you automatically lose the duel. Yes. It doesn't even have stars! Nope. Cannot be normal summon, must be special summon from your hand when the Dawn Thousand Monster B... How much is Dawn Monster Thousand B? He doesn't have fucking stars either! Cannot be special summon by any ways. It must be... So it can only summon each other. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ! What generation was that? I remember Yu-Gi-Oh! used to be like, yo, Exodia or the, like, the the three legendary god cards, and boom, that's it. Because mm -hmm. the god cards, you don't automatically win the duel, right? Correct. Okay. Um, Exo could Exodia beat the god cards? Yes. Okay. So if you get Exodia, no matter what, god cards don't matter for anything. Correct. Okay. What was the best of the three god cards? Uh, they're kind of really good on their own, by the way. So, Ra was the yellow one. It uh, took your life points and brought it as an attack. Okay. So, if you had 8,000 life points, you could give it 8,000 attack. Or 7,999. Like Merrick did that one time. Yep. yep. 
And then Obelisk is actually pretty, pretty fucking Because Obelisk uh, has 4,000 attack on its own. Mm -hmm. But he can sacrifice two other monsters and he can destroy the entire field. Okay. Uh, and two monsters in your hand or on the field on that the you field. have? Two monsters on the field. Does it also take out your monsters? No. Okay, so you'd still have your own. So if you had four people out, including Obelisk, mm -hmm. you took out two of those. That one that's still there, he'd be there no matter what. Correct. Okay. And then what's what's a Slifer do? Slifer is uh, gets a thousand attack for each card in your hand. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it. Huh. I don't remember exactly his abilities. I know well, so he can only get a max of like 5,000 more. Because you can only uh, have five cards in your hand, right? You can have more than that depending on the cards you have. But it all, but what, like when you use a card, do you draw another or do you just stick with that until you're down to less than five? I have no idea on Kay. that one. Because I thought, because I know if you, if you run out of cards in your deck and you can't draw at the end of your turn, you lose. Mm -hmm. I know that. It's not like if you run out of cards. It's not like, it's not like Egyptian Uno. Correct. Okay. So, I'm trying to think then. Because I know, God, what cards am I thinking of? I don't know if there's a max set minimum you can have then. Like, oh look, I have five cards. I used a, I used this card that makes me break out another card. I don't think you have to draw two cards at the end of your turn. It's just one, right? Correct. Okay, so you could just be down to just having, like, two cards in your hand, then, at the end of your turn. You could be down to having no cards in your hand at the end of the turn. That's gotta be a really shitty way to end your turn. Yep. Because <laughs> then, it's, oh, God. Although, I guess some cards wouldn't have an effect on you, then. Like, some cards are just, like, you know, it's either, like, show your hand or discard two from your hand. It's like, well, I can't do that. So, I guess, would you even use the card, then, or would it just stay face down? I guess it depends if it's a magic or trap card, then. Yes, because if it's a trap card, it has to be activated. If it's a magic card, you activate it when you want. Mm -hmm. Can you activate a magic card during someone else's turn? Yes. If okay. it is a quick play card. Okay. So it's got a little lightning bolt usually on the top right corner of the card. Then you can use it. And then you can use it on your turn or their turn. Okay. So like if uh, so you could go straight Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's just like, I, at I attack your life points directly. Not so fast, Kaiba! I have negate attack. I use it's a trap card, but but I'm trying to think of another magic one that could do it. Then, like you couldn't straight up use change of heart the moment they're gonna attack, right? Uh, change of heart, no. You have to wait. You have to wait for your turn to use no, change maybe, of heart. Maybe, maybe. You might be. I don't know. I don't remember. Can you use magic and spell cards and trap cards on god cards? No. Okay, so change of heart wouldn't work on obelisk. Correct. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of other cards. Um, Dark Hole. Would that work on the God cards? Nope. It, so they don't get affected by that kind of stuff. Okay. They're not supposed to. I think in... Isn't there a trap rules. card that involves a pyramid? Yes, that wasn't from the movie. Is that an actual card now, though? Yeah, it is. And it's specifically made for God cards. Okay. So uh, if they used it, what, does it just... The oh, we were good. I got on a tangent of trying to figure out Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and I'm like, shit, we're out of time. Trust me, we're uh, we're hunky dory right now. Uh, how many how many did you go through? I think you only got like two more or one more left. I'm not sure. All right, well, let's load it up and see where we go and figure out where we'll be coming back to. Uh, I don't even see where you are. Gosh, at the top of the map. All right, well, uh, when we come come back, um, probably something other than Yu-Gi-Oh at this point, or my squeaky table. Uh, <laughs> jiggle, jiggle. Yeah, well, when we come back, we'll uh, we'll see you next time. We'll find our way out of the square room we seem where, seem to be where, stuck in. Where this this dot thing is. All right. Well, anyway, goodbye, everybody. See you later. See you next time.